The headline was PhD student finds lost city in Mexico jungle by accident. Yes, child gets lost on internet, comma, finds lost. <laughs> I had reporters asking me how old I am. It's like, I mean, I have gray hair, I'm 36. <laughs> you know, it's really me being a student finding this by accident is not the story. Back in 2013, a forest monitoring project flew an airborne laser scan over these parts of Campeche in Mexico. A decade later, archaeologist Luke Ald Thomas found the data, removed the trees, and uh, within a matter of seconds realized that one of these areas they had mapped had intersected a really major uh, urban center. It's on a hilltop in the jungle. Uh, in the area where uh, the people from the community of Dos Lagunas have been living and farming and harvesting forest products for a few generations. He called it Valeriana. The name comes from a nearby lagoon, Laguna Valeriana. This finding is just one example of how LIDAR has sparked an explosion of knowledge about how the ancient Maya settled across this region. I think a lot of people visit ancient Maya sites today and they see stone pyramids surrounded by jungle and they assume that that was always so. And what this work is showing is that this was actually, you know, one of the world's great agricultural and urban landscapes 1,200 years ago. If you're the kind of person who's interested in this, we have a bigger video over on our YouTube channel about the use of LIDAR in archaeology. I think you're going to like it.